Okay, um, I was just doing some phone witnessing. Do you have a minute? Uh, who is this? Christine. What's your name? Jane. Okay, um, yeah, can I share scripture with you? Okay. <laughs> well, um, I love this verse. It's First Peter 2, 9 and 10. Um, do you want me to just read it or do you want to look at it? Yeah, I'll look at it. Okay. Say it one more time. First Peter two, nine and ten. Mm-hmm. Okay, you want me to read it? Sure. But you are a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people for a special possession, that you should declare abroad the excellencies of the one who called you out of darkness into his wonderful light. Um, how about ten, too? Yeah. For you were once not a people, but now you are God's people. Once you had not been shown mercy, but now you have received mercy. So, um, do these verses apply to you? I'm sorry, you, 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 you know this, the kingdom hall, right? Yeah, yeah, that's, that's awesome. Who is this? Christine. Christine who? Well, I, I don't know you, I just, I just love phone witnessing and sharing scripture, you know. Okay, that's, that's great. <laughs> well, you sound like you're in a happy mood anyways, but um yeah, do do these verses apply to you personally? Uh yeah, all scriptures apply. Oh, okay. I I thought only the anointed were going to be kings and priests, so um I don't would this like really apply to you according to that teaching? I mean, in a personal and direct way. So where are you from? Don't you like that question? (laughs) I don't want to chat about myself. I wanted to to talk about these verses here. I'm just here at my house right now. I don't I don't really want to talk about, you know, my personal info. Uh, what do you think about this? I mean, um, are you part of the people of God? It says once you were not a people, but now you are the people of God. Have you received mercy? It says you once you have not received mercy, but now you have received mercy. Are, are you cut out of all those things or just being a priest? Is this a future priest, or is it saying they are now? You know what? Can I get somebody to call you back? No, I I like you. Well, if you give me your contact information, I can contact you at a better time. Right now is really not a good time for me. Okay. Okay, no problem. I'll give you my email. Yeah, do that. I love to talk about it. Think about it more and we'll we'll talk about it. It's the letter D. Hello, Kingdom Hall. Hi. Um I was just doing some uh phone witnessing. Do you have a minute? Uh yes, yeah, sure. Cool. Can I share a scripture with you? Uh sure, no problem. Okay. Well, um I like to ask a little thought question with this one particular verse and um the question is, do you believe Jesus is the Messiah? Yes. Okay. Um, well, the verse is really interesting. It's 1 John 5, 1, and it says, Everyone believing that Jesus is the Christ has been born from God. So, are you born again? 
Uh, I'm not sure. That's a good question. I mm-hmm. I'll have to learn about it. But I do have to, I have to go. So I thought you needed something. I didn't mind listening to the scripture. Oh, okay, great. Um, a great website is called TowerToTruth.net. And God bless. Thank you. See ya. Hello? Hi. Um, I was just doing some phone witnessing. Do you have a minute? Oh, this is a Kingdom Hall of Jehovah's Witnesses. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> yes. Who is this? Christine. Oh, Christine. Yeah, can I share a scripture with you? Listen, we're we're getting uh, ready to go to the service now. Oh. You oh, have a lot of meetings, don't you? No, we just meet before we go out from house to house. Oh, what what's the yeah. message today? Oh well, you see, we we use the whole Bible for the message. Well, I don't I don't we, think you could tell somebody the whole Bible. That's not really what I meant. No. But what? Oh, oh, <laughs> that would take oh. a long time. What I'm saying is, we adapt <laughs> to the situation. In mm. other words, if we go to, we find a child, we find a lady, we find an old lady. Well, we we can use different verses for that, different situations. Like today, we were talking about reasoning. Like uh, Apostle Paul and Jesus did. See? Mm-hmm. They would reason with the people about different things. So we need to do that in order to teach people the truth. Oh. What if people don't agree with you? Like, so many Jehovah's Witnesses, as soon as I like share a different kind of verse um, that they don't usually use or something, um, or challenge like something about their history or their teaching. I, I would love to. You know what I they say? To. They go, we don't debate. And yeah. on some of on some people that like try to talk to the cart people like about the Australian Royal Commission on child sexual abuse, you know how the organization was investigated there and things like that? They don't yeah. reason, they call the police. Like why do they do that? They seem so paranoid like it's not like what you're saying like reason with people that would be yeah. good do you know why they call the police on people for telling them that <laughs> there, there's a law uh, the law says that if you know of any child abuse you have to tell it oh uh, in some states there is that law some but they, they have yeah, that, yeah the problem so is so that so many pe- the is. problem is now that they've got hundreds of people coming forward to explain that they did tell the elders about child sexual abuse and they were told to keep quiet about it because there wasn't oh. two witnesses. They require two oh. witness rule. Did you know about that? Well, that, that's in any kind of any kind of court, any kind of uh, situation. You have to prove it. Yeah. To- not, no, not there's not a two witness rule in, in any kind of a court for child sexual but, abuse. No. Yeah, the the lawyer in Australia even proved Jeffrey Jackson wrong about that by quoting from Deuteronomy 22, the woman who is raped in a field with no one around. So check that out. He seemed to... Um, well, I, I must go because I have a group there waiting for me. Yeah, so, I hope you look into it. Australia Royal Commission, oh, Case sure, Study sure. 29, that was the Jehovah's sure, Witnesses. Sure. They said that the officials there said they have one of the worst policies out of any group. So it was very interesting. Hey, thanks okay. thanks for talking. God bless you. Hey, you're welcome. See ya. Hi, um, I just have a Bible question. I was wondering if someone could help me with. What are you looking for? Do you have a minute? Yeah. Oh, um, I was just wondering, um, it was a verse I read in Matthew 12, and I was just wondering, uh, it was talking about um, a prophecy from Isaiah, you know how it quotes a lot from the Septuagint. Um, whose name do you all put your hope in? Jehovah. Jehovah, the name Jehovah, the You have to say Jehovah. But anyways, well, it says that um, in Matthew 12, it's talking about um, the servant, you know, um, God's servant, and he puts a spirit in him, and he will proclaim justice to the nations. Um, And then in verse 21, it says, in his name, the nations will put their hope. I just thought that was interesting. It says they will put their hope in the name of, of the Messiah. 
So it's interesting. You say you put your name, your hope in the name Jehovah. Jehovah is God and Jesus is the Son. They put his hope in there. Yeah, I wasn't trying to make an argument about that, but I just said it. I just thought it was really interesting. Have you ever looked up the word name in the book of Acts? Mm -hmm. You have? Yeah. Uh Uh-huh. Whose whose name um, did they call upon? Whose name did they heal people in? I don't remember that one. Yeah. Want to do a Bible study with me about about looking up the word name in the book of Acts? I mean, in every reference? No, thanks. You don't? I thought you guys were all about the Bible. We are, but... Uh Uh-huh. So what's the problem? That we do our Bible studies also. Yeah, but I mean that's just a Bible study without any a, any book, you know, anything leading you to certain conclusions. It's just using a concordance. It's so neat to use a concordance. You look up a word and it shows you every single reference. You want to be like the original early church, don't you? No thanks. You, you don't? Hello? 